Instead of uh, SS2C, Mr. Diba is on the line to educate you on what you ought to know by the time we resume top 10. As the case may be, the topic you are seeing on the board for the first week, that is pre independent constitution. That is, the, in other words, we call it colonial, uh, colonial constitutions. As they came to colonize Nigeria, they came with their own way of doing things. And as human beings, there must be grand norms for the society on how to govern the country. So the first constitution of this kind is called Uj Clifford Constitution of 1922. I hope you are with me. Uj Clifford Constitution of 1922. And before we do that, it is necessary to remind ourselves of the definition of a constitution. As you can see on the board, a constitution can be defined as a fundamental principle that determines how a state should be governed, or simply say, the ground norms of the society. Because it is not wise that you go ahead to discuss constitution and you don't know the definition of a constitution. This is to remind you of SS1 work. We have done this before. I, just, I want us to remind ourselves about the definition of constitution. Since up to week one, from week one to week four, we're talking about constitution, constitution, constitution. There's a need for us to know the definition of constitution once again. So, in line with that, in the protectorate of southern Nigeria from 1900, as I told you before, that the colonial master came to Nigeria and Africa as a whole as a result of the Berlin Conference in 1885. In 1900, to 19, what? 1914 to 1960. Something happened along the line from 1900 to 1940. And as the case may be, the country is divided into two. We we'll call it the Northern Protectorate and Southern Protectorate. And I want you to know that the Southern Protectorate and Northern Protectorate came together, what we we'll call amalgamation. That means prior to the time of 1914, they were operating a power. The Southern Protectorate on its own, the Northern Protectorate on its own, not until 1914, before Nigeria was amalgamated. The governor was the sole administrator. There was neither an executive council nor a legislative council to advise him. He was his sole administrator. He can fire and he can hire at any time. He used his discretions to rule this country. When in 1906, the protectorate of South Southern Nigeria, South Nigeria, was amalgamated with the colony and the protectorate of Lagos and became known as a colony. I've told you the air state before we don't know what is colony or we don't know what is state or region. At the time the British colonial came, we referred to Nigeria as at that time as colony. Different colonies that they conquered and they, they administered and protectorate of what? Southern Nigeria. The Legislative Council of Lagos was given to make laws, was given power, was given to make laws for the whole territory. In 1914, the Southern and Northern Protectorate were merged or amalgamated. So as I was saying, the first constitution of this country, the British constitution, of this country lasted for almost 29 years. It was there for almost 29 years. And I want you to know that as a result of deficiency of this constitution, either he dies or he resigns and leaves Nigeria for his country, another person will come and replace him. And it is a very that there will be improvement on what the first constitution has on ground. As you know, the Nigerian nationalists that are there agitated, pressing hard for self-government. So, Clifford Constitution had a lot of shortcomings. Therefore, there was an agitation that let there be a self-government. Let Nigeria take their destiny in their own hands, especially the nationalists. For that reason, he left and another person came to replace him. But before that, I want us to look at the main features of Clifford Constitution what it brought to Nigeria, and how to describe Clifford Constitution. So I want you to look at this uh, cardboard carefully, which Clifford Constitution of 1922, main features of the Constitution. Number one, Legislative Council. 
Legislative Council is equivalent to the National Assembly today. Most importantly, the introduction of elective principle. That is the major thing that Clifford Constitution has done to this country. Number three, the Executive Council. The Executive Council today, I've told you, is one of the arms of governors at that time and the proclamations by the governor himself. Then that was the beginning of political activities in this country. It was this Clifford Constitution that I gave back to the political activities that we are enjoying today as dividends of democracy. Now, as I told you earlier, the Legislative Council, what is it all about? They are the one to legislate for the country. Yes, that is the lawmaking body, as the case may be. Then, the introduction of elective principle, as I said earlier, it is the one that gives room for all political activities in the country today. Without this introduction of elective principle, nobody would be talking of democracy or representative government that are enjoying the dividends today that give room for freedom of press to expose the societal is. They were talking about the executive council, which has to do with the executive arm of government. As at that time, there was nothing like a three arms of government. We have a legislative council and executive council that legislate for the whole country. And the political activities emerged, proclamation by the governor, the sole administrator. So he is the one that is in charge of the northern and the southern protectorate. Thank you very much. This is an assignment for you to engage you on to where we resume. Is that okay? So, from your own point of view, you define the constitution, it is very, very important. Number two, highlight the main features of FIFA constitution of 1922. And you can contact me through this number 35870188. Thank you very much and God bless you.